Hello, friends. Welcome to Coding Garden with CJ. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you up, show you how to sign up on the Code Wars website. Um, so if you're if you've never heard of Code Wars, it is a place where you can practice and improve uh, coding by doing challenges um, and and practicing coding. Basically, uh, you can choose from many different programming languages. Uh, I specifically mainly code in JavaScript. I do other things, but mainly in JavaScript. So whenever you're signing up on the website, you should choose the language that you prefer. And uh, then it's going to ask you to solve a problem. And it says, this code does not execute properly. Try to figure out why. Now, some people have said this is kind of like gatekeeping. And it sort of is. You, you basically have to know enough about programming to be able to solve this before you can even get into the website. But um, I think the other thing this is doing is it's showing you how the website works, right? So the, the, web, the way the website works is they provide a place for you to put your code in. Uh, you can click Submit. It's going to run some tests against your code. And then it's going to tell you um, uh, the output of those tests. So expected undefined to equal 1, expected undefined to equal 4071. So right now, our function is returning undefined. And because people in the chat have it, yes, uh, it's missing the return statement. So to fix this code, we need to put the word return right here, like that. Uh, and that should solve it. Yes, test pass. <laughs> um, and so, and then it's going to allow you to sign up for a website. So um, <laughs> we're giving you the keys to the gate. Yes, shell codes. Um, but the, so the thing, the thing about that specific problem is it, it's showing you how the website works. You put your code in, it runs the test, it gives you feedback. That's mainly the mainly the thing. Uh, you can then uh, link your GitHub account or, or create an account. But once you're in, you can start solving coding problems. Uh, and I'll show you my preferred way of, of sorting and filtering these. So once you're logged in, click on kata, and then um, you'll, you'll see a bunch of code katas. Uh, it's important to note the difficulty. So under difficulty, 8Q is actually the easiest problem. So if you're just a beginner, <laughs> I'm in, nice. <laughs> if you're just a beginner, you want to start with 8Q. Uh, these are like introductory problems. A little bit harder than that first problem we saw to get into the website, but it's a good place to start and practice. Um, and then it goes up from there. So the, the lower the number, the harder the problem. Um, and just to give you some context, I mean, for I'm just a guy, but uh, we were working on a 2Q problem, and uh, I currently have done four episodes of, of Code Katas working on that exact same problem and we're still not done. So the the higher the the lower the number gets, the harder the problem gets. And it's relative. It depends on your experience and how you take in problems like this, all that good stuff. But let me show you real quick. Uh, I I prefer to sort by most completed, either most completed or uh, positive feedback. So the thing about this website is all of the problems are user submitted. So um, sometimes it's really hard to understand the problem that they're asking you to solve. Um, but if you sort by positive feedback or most completed um, or even popularity, you're going to find problems that are a little bit, or at least they're solvable, right? They're easier to understand the problem statement. Uh, I usually go by most completed. Um, and then you can choose your language. I, my languages chosen are, are JavaScript. And then um, here, I like to choose katas that I have not trained on. So this is going to show me ones that I have never seen before. Um, you could also choose ones that I've not completed if you want to go back and do that. Um, and then filter by difficulty. I'm going to start with an 8Q. I'm going to start with an 8Q, katas I haven't trained on, most completed. Do I get a bonus? Let's do this problem right now, and that will be the end of uh, this YouTube video. Um, so here's the problem statement. Uh, it's bonus time in the big city. The fat cats are rubbing their paws in anticipation, but who is going to make the most money? Build a function that takes in two arguments, salary and bonus. Salary will be an integer, and bonus is a boolean. If bonus is true... The salary should be multiplied by 10. If bonus is false, the fat cat did not make enough money and must receive only his stated salary. Uh, return the total figure the individual will receive as a string with the prefixed um, euro? <laughs> um, is that what that is? Is this a euro or is this a pound? Is this a British pound? People in the chat, help me, help me out. It's a pound, okay. <laughs> So either a, a pound, a dollar sign if you're in these languages, or what is this? Can anyone tell me what this? I I'm I'm ignorant of the world. Um, a yen. Oh yen. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna copy this because I don't have this key on my keyboard, um, and we're gonna go right in. So I'm gonna click train. This is my break timer. Let's take a quick stretch. Um, take a sip of water. Rust. <laughs> 
Great, yeah. And so um, you can see the same problem description on the left-hand side. You can see the code right here. And then you can see uh, all of the sample tests. So these tests basically tell you expected inputs and outputs. So when they call your function with 10,000 and true, um, they get a, what's the bonus if it's true? Multiplied by 10. Wow, that's a big bonus. So the salary is multiplied by 10 if it's true. Uh, and then the output should should be that. So um, let's, let's solve this thing. So we basically need to say, um, if they get a bonus, then we need to return a string that uh, has the sign in front of it multiplied by 10. So we could say return. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, let's, put, let's make a string with that sign. We need to add the salary. Uh, salary, salary <laughs> multiplied by 10. Uh, and that should do it. So in, in JavaScript, it's actually going to coerce this number to a string and concatenate it. Um, otherwise, if they didn't get the bonus, then we just need to return uh, that with the salary itself. Um, salary, 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 salary. Uh, and this should do it. Okay, awesome. Test pass. Now, if you've ever watched uh, Code Wars, Code Katas with me, you know that I don't just solve it one way. There are many, many other ways to solve it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But this is it for this YouTube video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll sign up on Code Wars. Hopefully you'll tune in every other Wednesday where we do this kind of stuff live. And uh, thanks for watching and, and join Code Wars. Get better at coding. Everybody say bye, YouTube. Uh, wave. Bye, YouTube. Smile. Oh, Carl Smile, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm glad to hear that, Razor, who says I really get positive ener uh, energy from your streams. Appreciate that. All right. Now, bonus content. Bonus content for people that aren't watching on YouTube. 